They are bold, elusive, and highly deadly. This is the Sri Lankan leopard. Wilpatu National Park, one of the strongholds of the leopard. Here, there's plenty of prey for a hungry predator. Hidden amid the serene landscape is the country's top carnivore, the leopard. As the apex predator of this ecosystem, it has very little to fear. This is a common sight in Wilpatu. Leopards are often encountered on the road. Some of these cats have been habituated to safari vehicles, so they are at ease with human presence. The Sri Lankan leopard is one of nine recognized leopard subspecies in the world. Unlike Indian leopards, it has no competition with tigers or lions. Hence, it's on top of the food chain in Sri Lanka. Some believe that due to a lack of competition, it has become the largest leopard subspecies in the world. A quick reference through certain websites seems to confirm this statement though its accuracy is debatable. Are Sri Lankan leopards the largest in the world? Normally, local leopards weigh between 50 to 60 kilograms. On the other hand, the Persian leopard weighs between 37 to 90 kilograms, outweighing the Sri Lankan leopard. With countless natural lakes sustaining its wildlife, Wilpatu's biodiversity is unique. The park has a robust leopard population reportedly numbering over 70 individuals. A study conducted by the Smithsonian Institute in 1972 mentions being in contact with 113 leopards back in the day, with 96 separate encounters. The report also highlights that Sri Lanka offers a unique opportunity to study the leopard, as it's the largest carnivore on the island. But years after this study was conducted, a civil war broke out in the country. Due to security concerns, Wilpatu was closed in 1988. However, with the closure of Wilpatu, attention shifted to another wildlife sanctuary down south, Yala National Park. Gradually, Yala became Sri Lanka's most popular wildlife getaway. The park is known to have one of the highest leopard densities in the world, with over 40 individual leopards inhabiting Block 1. But vehicular traffic has become an issue lately, with the park being congested with too many safari jeeps one can imagine the stress this has on wild animals. Then in 2004, the tsunami struck. On the day, many people were killed at Yala. Leopards have a long history in Sri Lanka. Interestingly, in 1909, civil servant Leonard Wolf, husband of author Virginia Wolf, made an entry into his diary about a white leopard haunting a village down south. He mentions that after his arrival in the village, he heard the leopard had been shot. Strangely, no further information is provided. In Sri Lanka, rare black leopards have been recorded too, with a recent one succumbing to injuries sustained from a snare, which is becoming a problem in the central highlands. Apart from the lowlands, the central highlands of Sri Lanka also has a leopard population. 
But there, leopards are constantly entangled in snares. Even though some animals are saved by wildlife officials, snares have become the leading cause of death for leopards. Reportedly, over 40 leopards have died from snare-induced injuries during the past 10 years. But the number could be much higher. Nearly a century ago, montane forests in the highlands were cleared for tea plantations like these. Consequently, this left small forest patches for leopards, which continue to shrink due to human encroachment and other factors. As a result, there have been a few leopard attacks on humans, such as this incident when a woman was killed by a leopard in 2014. Recently, there was a spate of attacks at Kumana National Park by a leopard, which was then captured and relocated. However, unlike India, man-eating leopards are very rare in Sri Lanka. Instead, the threat seems to be for the leopard. Only time will tell what future holds for Sri Lanka's most charismatic keystone species.